we are about to have a luxurious stay at San Cristobal de las Casas in the Chiapas. Let's check out our hotel, Hotel Bo, and see all that it has to offer. Traveling to San Cristobal de las Casas in the Chiapas region of Mexico starts with a plane ride into the very small Tuxla airport. Then it is up to you to grab a taxi or just do what we did, get a driver pick you up from the hotel. Then it is a winding but beautiful drive up into the mountains to San Cristobal, roughly an hour and 15 minutes. Welcome to the Hotel Bow. Bo means water in the indigenous language of Chiapas, and water nourishes the lush gardens throughout this trendy boutique hotel. This hotel is known for its stunning architecture, breathtaking views, and luxurious amenities. From the moment you walk in, you are greeted with a warm smile and friendly staff. The lobby is filled with art and has a cozy, welcoming atmosphere. The coffee and wine bar is a great place to start your visit. We spent a lot of time on the nearby cozy couches throughout the space, having amazing coffee in the mornings and indulging in delicious cocktails and wine in the evenings by the mini fire pits. The open plan lobby, the hip bar and restaurant all spill out onto the gorgeous courtyard gardens and pool. The hotel is a walking distance to the local sites and city center and the hotel also provides private tours of the region. We highly recommend you do this as we learn so much of the region from a true local. Two floors of only 22 rooms line the courtyard with views of the gardens or the mountains. The rooms are beautiful and spacious with plenty of amenities for comfort and convenience. Room prices range from around 275 US for a deluxe king bed up to 720 US for the master suite. The outdoor pool area along with other quieter lounging spaces located throughout the property are perfect for relaxing and soaking up the sun. There is also a charming library and a decent sized gym. The restaurant Lum serves up delicious fusion Mexican cuisine and we found the food absolutely delicious. As Chiapas is known for its coffee and chocolate, please make sure to indulge in both while you're here. Hence the multiple visits to the lobby bar for espresso followed by chocolate martinis. They were so delicious. So we're decided to get our coffee in the form of martinis and so I got an espresso martini and Neil got something. He actually doesn't know what it is. Um, but we're both going to have this with Chiapas coffee and um, see how it tastes. Neil, have some. Let's see. It's got cinnamon. Here. Let's cinnamon. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> While staying at Hotel Bo, you will have access to the other two affiliated restaurants, Bloom and Malik, located a short distance away. These two adjacent restaurants are located inside a beautiful and romantic courtyard, where we were lucky to catch an amazing DJ and dance the night away. The staff are super attentive, friendly and helpful, and they go out of their way to make sure that your stay is enjoyable. We have been in San Cristobal de las Casas for a few days now and here are some observations and some advice that we have for you if you are thinking of coming down here for a vacation or a luxury stay. First of all, the elevation. It is high. It is 2200 meters above sea level. And if you have never been at 2200 meters above sea level, which I have not, you're going to feel it. So there are a few things that you should do to make sure you don't get all woozy like I did. And what, what are those things? Yeah. Don't drink alcohol, which we are obviously going to do anyway. Drink lots of water, which we didn't do. Yeah, so we didn't listen to any of that advice. That's so basically what you're supposed to do. You're going to feel a weird combination of weird bouts of dizziness and nausea that come on for about 10, 20 seconds and then go away. Last night actually was probably the worst for me because what we did is we, we got here the first day, then we went down, back down to sea level or close to it to do the, uh, the tour of the canyon, and then we came back up. And that was bad because we were, you know, up, down, Neil up. Neil did not do well. No, that was a wreck. So some signs of altitude sickness are lethargy, nausea, dizziness. I felt like a bit of vertigo, loss of appetite. Just keep that in mind when you are thinking of coming up here. If you have, you know, issues, health issues, maybe rethink coming to San Cristobal. Or prepare for it in advance. Clothing. What 
love the clothing. So we actually came from our place in Playa del Carmen, and we flew out here for the weekend, and I brought shorts, which... He hasn't worn yet, because it's Ooh. cool up here. No, we're in August, and it is a warm, maybe 22 degrees Celsius. That's in the daytime, so in, in the evening it gets quite cool. You're gonna you want might a jacket. need a light jacket. Yeah, in fact, the locals here quite often see you wearing winter jackets and toques, and it's August, so keep that in mind. You don't. You might want to bring a pair of shorts or two, but you don't really need them. Uh, long pants are going to be good. The festivals that they have here, cultural festivals. Oh, yeah. Fireworks. And oh, so it's not actually fireworks, it's gunpowder exploding in the sky. All the time. It's to celebrate the church or the, the, the patron saints of the church, the birthday, I'm not sure. There's, something got lost in translation, but there are certain festivals that they have here. Yes. And they do explode gunpowder in the sky and they the do time. start as early as 6 a.m. Every day. All throughout the day. It's, it's, it's random. It's not like it's There's on every no. hour or every other hour. It tends to end around midnight. You hear it through the walls of the hotel. Keep that in mind that throughout this city there's a lot of celebrations and it will be quite loud. So it's our last day here at Hotel Bo in San Cristobal de la Casas and we wanted to give you an overview of what we thought of the hotel and our stay here for the last three nights. So let's start off with location. Location is everything when you're on a vacation and this hotel is right where you want it to be in the old town. You're about a 10 minute walk to the main attractions, uh, to the pedestrian streets and cab rides are super cheap from here. So this is a fantastic location in the heart of San Cristobal. And it's also not like right in the direct center, so it's not as loud as it would be if you are right in the middle of all the action, you have to hear all the traffic and all the bars and the clubs. So location is good. Bingo. What about the room? We just got a basic room and it was great. It was beautiful. Uh, it's modern. Modern, well-appointed. The amenities, great shower pressure. I know like, it's a weird thing, but sometimes when you're on vacation, <laughs> you know, hot water is great. Everything was great. Uh, housekeeping was on point, fantastic. And they just do the little extras here that you would expect. So let's in a talk about service then. Five star resort. Um, I think this is rated four stars by most of most of the internet, but I would say that the service level here is is five star. Top notch. They go above and beyond. For example, one night there was loud music, and I actually thought it was coming from the hotel, but it was actually a celebration that was going on at a nearby club, and they went beyond their normal hours. So the next morning I came down kind of grumpy and I said, what's with all the music? And they're like, it wasn't us, it was a celebration. Uh, that night when we got back to our room, there were earplugs there for, for us. For both of us. So they listened to what we um, had issues with and they went above and beyond to try to make us comfortable. And we found that throughout our stay here, whether it was the front desk, the restaurants, um, they are really tr uh, catering to us and try to make our stay here as comfortable and pleasant and enjoyable as possible. So service was top notch. The owners, there's, I think there's a, a group of them, really, really care about, about their hotel. We were in other places in town and all of a sudden we were getting taken care of. We were given tables, a taxi was called for us. It was actually the owners had noticed us at these places. They happened to be there themselves and they were actually going out of their way to get us better service and mm. to take care of us. So it was, it was well above and beyond. Um, Fernando and Maximilian, the two gentlemen that, that we did meet, uh, they were absolutely fantastic and they really stuck out as, uh, as people. Yes, and muchas gracias to both yes, of them. Thank you very much for, <laughs> for the extra, extra special attention. So, food. The restaurant here is Hotel uh, Restaurant Lom. The breakfast was phenomenal. We haven't had lunch yet, but we did have dinner and oh my gosh, it was top level food. Yeah. We would highly rate it as like amazing food that we would have in five star hotels in places like New York or Toronto. So I love the food here. Um, the courtyard where you can have um, breakfast if it's warm enough is actually beautiful. And so the whole ambiance plus the restaurant plus the service, we would rate that pretty well as well. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'd give it an eight or nine out of 10. <laughs> the, the actual hotel itself. So we've talked about the room. The grounds themselves, we just saw a hummingbird a minute ago. <laughs> grounds are meticulously maintained. There are flowers and lavender and the, the whole place is just, it's beautiful. And they are on point with the grounds, always maintaining it. It's an outdoor courtyard motel style room. So you're outdoors, there's no, you know, no indoor hallways. You're walking outdoors to get your rooms, which is fairly common in Mexico. It's beautiful. Honestly, you will absolutely love staying here. They don't have a pool here. Um, so no need. Don't, need. don't bring your bathing suit, it's all no. good. <laughs> It's not hot here. It's a high of about 22 degrees Celsius um, in the summer. So you're not gonna be in a pool very much, so there's no need for a pool. Don't bring uh, tiny little dresses either, ladies. Just bring comfy um, pants, um, comfortable shoes. 
don't need to bring heels uh, unless you're just going into the restaurant to look pretty in your kind of dress and then put the heels away, put your flats back on if you're going out for a night on the town. Just bring nice light um, layered clothing so you can take it off during the day in the sun if you feel too hot, but you definitely don't need the easy breezy light summer dresses here. How about we talk about things to do? You can go to the canyons, you can go to waterfalls, they're all excursions. Uh, you can go to Chima, uh, what's it called, where were we today? Chimula. Chimula, which is like going to another world out of an Indiana Jones movie. Do the excursions, pay Good. for the private driver. Um, definitely worth the price to have someone be a tour guide and also a safe ride for you. So just get the private car. Yeah, very worth it. And the hotel can arrange all of that for you relatively inexpensively. So overall, we loved Hotel Bo. Thank you so much for this lovely stay here. Again, this video is not, not a partnership and we weren't compensated for our We room. pay this for all our, of our stays everywhere we go. This is our honest review. A lovely hotel. We would highly recommend it to anybody who wants to come to San Cristobal de la Casas in the Chiapas region. Mountains of Mexico. Till next time. <laughs> See you later. Bye.